Good morning, low gangers. What's poppin' fellas? Welcome back to my part of the channel. It's editing closer here and I realized how tired I sound and how like out of it I look. I apologize, I mean, just came back from a camping and I'm dead tired, but I really wanted to film the video. I'm sorry. <laughs> First of all, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, I hope that you and your family had the best of times and that you and your pets got a lot of presents. You see, the funny part about reptiles is the fact that I, you can't really gift them anything, so I just kind of gave them a few extra worms and I was like, Merry Christmas! So as you might have noticed, we're kind of in a different space today. Reason being, my mom's hogging the computer room. Today's topic, I want to concentrate more on feeding leopard geckos. You know, their schedule, what you should feed them, and when. And no, I apologize, no reptiles in today's video. They're both sleeping and they don't want to come out of their enclosures and I'm not just about to bother them for a 15 minute shoot. Sorry. So today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about leopard gecko feeding. So it's schedule, the supplements, and what you might want to feed them. Having said that, let's go. If you're new to pet keeping, you might be wondering, what are supplements? While the topic of supplements is something that I want to make a video of in itself, very summarized, supplements are vitamins and minerals that you have to give your pets in order for them to have a complete diet. While for example, in dogs, their food do contain certain types of calcium or vitamins, it's always nice to give them an extra boost. However, in reptiles such as geckos, you have to give them certain minerals or vitamins such as calcium or vitamin D3 that they can't get just through their insects, so you have to supplement them that they come in little powder kind of thing, and you have to give them to them and they ingest it and they're fine. The lack of minerals and vitamins can be detrimental to an animal's health. For example, leopard geckos, though they are a crepuscular species, if they don't get the amount of calcium or vitamins they need, they can develop metabolic bone disease, which you might hear a lot in the community, and it's an awful sickness that just Metabolic bone disease affects the bones of your animals and they kind of make them into mush, they make them very weak and it prohibits your animal from moving normally, from you know having a relative normal life and they can die because of it or they can look in very severe cases, warning, like this. And I think that we can all agree that that is an awful way to live for an animal. So if you care about your pets, which of course you do, this is what you want to feed them so that they look like perfect echoes, like mine. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> so, let's continue on to the video. How many times a week you feed your geckos is gonna depend on how old they are. If we separate your gecko's age range from 0 to 6 months, 6 to 12 months, and 12 months onward, this is how you have to feed them. From 0 to 6 months, you're gonna feed them every single day, 5 times a week calcium, 2 times a week multivitamins. Well, personally, I didn't have my gecko when she was that young, what I've seen a lot of people do is that Monday through Friday, they do calcium, and on the weekends, they do multivitamins. Personally, I think that it would be better to, for example, give them multivitamins like Monday and Thursday, so they're kind of spaced apart, and every single other day of the week, you give them calcium. Then, from 6 to 12 months old, you're going to want to feed your pet every other day. So, for example, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, similarly to last time, you're going to feed your gecko three times with calcium and once with multivitamin. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are going to be calcium days, and Sunday is going to be a multivitamin day. The crazy thing about reptiles is the fact that they don't have to eat every single day. They have evolved throughout millions of years to only have to eat certain times a week. In fact, during the colder months, such as winter or fall, your pet might actually refuse feeding for a very long time. I said this in my last video, but Ecta refused feeding for multiple months and she only dropped like 3 grams. Well, of course you don't want your pet to stop eating for a long amount of time. A couple of weeks usually isn't a big deal. Lastly, for what you consider adult geckos, or 12 months and over, you want to feed them every 2 or 3 days. And it's going to be very similar to juvenile geckos. 3 feedings, calcium, 1 feeding, multivitamins. 
So, for example, you could feed your gecko Monday, Thursday, Sunday, all of those days will be calcium. And then the Wednesday, I believe, of the next month is going to be multivitamins. Personally, I wouldn't count the feedings through weekdays. I would be like number day number one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because you don't want to feed your gecko two days in a row, or you don't want to not feed them for like four days in a row, you know? So, you know, just keep a constant schedule and it'll be better for you and your gecko. So, yes, future Jose, I kind of forgot to say this and it's kind of dark, but we won't talk about that. What I forgot to say is that for your leopard geckos especially, you're going to want to feed them later at night because that's when they're going to be the most active. Leos being a crepuscular species, they're going to be more awake during dawn and dusk. And it's honestly better to feed them at dawn or dusk. So I would say maybe very early in the morning, so between 7 and 9 a.m. or between 6 and 8 p.m. So that is it for today's video. Before I leave, I want to thank you for watching us this end of the year. I hope that your new year is as beautiful and even better than this year. And I wish you all the best in this wonderful 2020. Jesus Christ, it's a new decade. <laughs>